She holds the record for the most top 10 singles by a British female artist, is the first female to be named an honorary ambassador of Kosovo, and is the winner of MTV's Power of Music Award, Rita Ora. She hit the charts at an early age, featuring the number one hit single, Hot Right Now. She went on tour to collaborate with artists such as Drake and Coldplay before Rita Ora made her mark in the world of music, when her debut album soared to the top of the UK charts. Although her musical talent catapulted her into the limelight, she continues to prove that she is more than just a vocal artist. She is the face of Calvin Klein and Coca-Cola, and she pursues other ventures such as acting, fashion designing, and hosting the popular TV show America's Next Top Model. Over the years, Rita Ora has successfully branched out into many industries of pop culture, establishing her empire and distinguishing herself from the average pop star. Beautiful. Oh, oh, it's so finally, it's finally happening. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't wait. After I heard this album, I was like, please, please put her on my list. Oh, of no, celebrities I'm, to interview this thank year. Thank you. I'm so happy that we got to do this. I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm just really happy that this album is coming out. So I'm finally, finally doing what I want. I just want to ask you just a few questions about some of the tracks. Yes. Anywhere. <laughs> Such a dope, easy, breezy track. Thank you. I love it so much. Thank you. Do you feel like this song personifies your signature so sound? Anywhere, yeah. Anywhere is like my like journey of growth. Like it's like this whole album has an undertone of like what I feel like my life has be like been through. Mm -hmm. So like your song was my frustration of feeling sad every time I hear a sad song and I was like I just want to hear something good and then Ed was like Sharon said to me why don't we just do you complaining about sad songs and I was like okay cool good and then my second one anywhere is like my like passion of wanting to like go mm -hmm. and feel like I want to run away from something and then this song let you love me is my frustration of not letting people in as much as I would like to and you know, there's always there's like a little like lifeline that goes through this album. So see that yeah. you're you're very multidimensional in this album. Thank I you. love it so Thank much. You. There's um, I see that there's a bit of a contrast between um, "Let You Love Me." Yes. And your song, "Let You Thank Love you. Me," you're a little more coy. Yeah. And your song, you're like, ah, I'm done with it. I'm over it. Yeah. Your song was like meant to be the opening to my new chapter, do you know what I mean? Like the opening to my, like my new sound, my new chapter, my new kind of era, which is why I called the album Phoenix, because I do genuinely feel like I've been like reborn, because it's been such a journey to get to this album. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been six years, to be honest. So like, it's been such like a crazy roller coaster ride mm -hmm. that I feel like I've got like, a, I'm like reborn, you know? And your song was like that blast on the scene, like, I want to hear that song. And then it went into like, all that moment and now let you love me for my more like most vulnerable side you know i haven't put money um money music out that i think is that vulnerable for a while that's my favorite song on your album thank you i've been listening to that non-stop singing it off key but <laughs> all, my, like, don't worry, all my like dj friends are like you know what i really fuck with this song you know let you love me they're like i love the drop i'm like thanks yeah so I'm like, yay! Oh, that's so, do I love it to death. I've been listening to it even before, <laughs> before I was given the full album to listen yes. to. I was just like, I gotta listen to this 10 times first. Thank you, thank you, that's good. <laughs> Girls, I have to say, thank you. no shyness there. No, <laughs> definitely not, no. I feel it like shocked a few people, obviously. I love it. Yeah. I feel like it's like a, um, kind of like a liberating song, standing in your that truth. That is very refreshing to hear you know my point and my intention of that song was to really feel like I was a voice for people that didn't have one whether it was for religious purposes or if they can't tell their family or who they really are if they were gay whatever it was I don't know I just felt like I had a lot of friends that were went through that and I felt like I needed to help people find their confidence in truth. And for me, girls was my truth, you know? Yes. That was my story, my journey. And I'm very proud of the fact that I spoke my truth, which is what this album is. It's really, really honest and pure. And, you know, some people thought it in a different way and some people were like, yay, thank God people are speaking more openly about this. And, 
you know, it is what it is. It's 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 freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? Not everyone's gonna want to come to the party. Oh, I hear you. You know, but the people that do, trust me, are gonna have the best time of their lives. And I have to say, I had the best time of my life listening to this album. Thank you. I've been listening to it daily, and I have to say, everyone in my family is getting it for Christmas. Oh, good. Hey. <laughs> That is for sure. And I just want to thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And thank you for this album. Yes. And thank you for Rita. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so, so much. Thank I so you. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for the support. Have a wonderful evening. You too, gorgeous. Thank you. Too. you. November 23rd, Phoenix comes out. Go get it. Go get it.